everyone, it's Lisa, and today I have an important video if you have cracked heels. That is something I have never really dealt with before, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I live in more of a humid, warmer climate, but my mom has always dealt with that. I think I have told you in the past that she has tried everything. She has tried the Vicks Vapor Rub on her heels. She has tried the lactic acid lotions like amlactin. She has tried all different natural remedies. It wasn't until I gave her this cream that she found something that would repair her heels. I believe I told you about that. She felt so strongly about it that she wanted me to tell you guys. So I think I have mentioned it before, but I never thought much about it. I just, I knew I had heard Tammy talk about it and how good it is. And I knew Tammy, you know, was good. She had tried different things. So I trusted her advice. And I think that's the reason I gave this to my mom. So I told you about it before. Well, I take Will to school and pick him up in the afternoons, but I take him to school and we usually get there early and we're sitting there and he doesn't want to get out until the bell rings. So typically I just take him to school in, <laughs> this is funny, like my pajamas, cause I'm not getting out. And I do have on like a jacket and I will usually be wearing those Ugg, my favorite ones that have the open toe and the open back. And it's just a habit for me when I'm in my car to put my leg up on the seat. One day I looked down and saw this. And I was like, oh my gosh. And you guys know I get regular pedicures, usually about once a week. So when I saw my heels like that, I texted a picture of it to the owner of Freeze Co Beauty. And I was like, I am gonna order some of that heel cream. I cannot believe that. I, matter of fact, I told her, you, you could blackmail me with this picture. But I will say I looked up cracked feet repair on YouTube, I think yesterday before just thinking about making this video, I was wondering if it was something that a lot of people dealt with and my feet weren't that bad. My feet weren't that bad after all. So I ordered a bottle and I started and I remembered my mom telling me you only needed a little bit and how well it spreads and how quick it works. So let me get my phone so I can tell you I will put my pictures in here. I, thank goodness I thought to take a picture. Okay, let's go. And stay to the end of my video and you'll see who this outfit is a recreation. I shopped my closet and I did a recreation. So this video won't be long, just stay till the end. So the first picture I took was November 29th and I'll put that picture up here. And so you can see that they're cracked on the very bottom, but you guys, I always wear, I mean, you might say, well, it's because you're wearing those shoes. I mean, these, I have worn the same types of shoes forever and I had never, ever noticed that. This is my foot, same foot, same position. I wish I wouldn't have scrunched up my ankles the first time, but this is December 6th. So I don't even know how many days that is, but look at the difference. It is amazing. Let me tell you exactly what I do. Okay, this is my first bottle. Does this tell you how much I love this product? When I was through with it, I already had gotten a backup tube, but I love it so much that I cut the top off of it and I really got a lot out. Then I couldn't get to the bottom where it's collected, so I cut some more of it off and I still have so much left at the bottom and it takes just a very little amount. And I want to um, tell you the ingredients so I don't forget. I took a screenshot of the ingredients this morning. And by the way, my makeup today is inspired by a video I came across and I liked my makeup. So I did my video or my makeup like this. It wasn't that video. Okay, 
cracked heel balm. It's got lactic acid, and I'm gonna explain more about that in a little bit, which is an alpha hydroxy acid that breaks down the bonds between cells to help remove dead skin cells, calluses, and soften feet. Glycerin, a holistic plant-based humectant that retexturizes and smooths dry cracked skin, and peppermint oil. You can really feel the peppermint oil. An herbal cooling agent that soothes aching feet and reduces odor. So you're getting some exfoliating big time, you're getting some moisturizing, and then you're getting the cooling effect. And just like I say with Obaji, and gosh, it's, it, it's even in your diet, it's not each individual thing, it's how these things work together. The full ingredient list has glycerin, it has lactic acid as the second ingredient. And then you can go on the website and read all of the ingredients, but this is what I want to say. It's no joke. I started out putting it just a little bit on my heels. Well, I noticed that it said you could put it an intensely softening foot treatment that helps repair rough, dry skin on the feet and heels. Lactic acid helps remove the calluses and dead skin with jojoba and soothing peppermint oils to leave feet feeling smoother and softer. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna put it all over. So just a little bit I can put, I'll usually do one whole side of my foot, then I'll do the other side of my foot. Then I started taking what was left and going across the top of my feet. And recently in the past, I would say two weeks, I've started even doing the underside of my feet and like my toes. I have worn high heels for so long so long you guys probably even in high school when other people wore flats mine had a little bit of a heel on it i have worn high heels for a long long time and so my toes are kind of smushy and have like those calluses on the bottom and you would not believe how much it's helped this is what i'm going to say is different than anything else i've ever tried like any other foot cream it will make your feet peel even the places on my heels that weren't cracked or weren't that tough all around like my ankle bone peeled and i was at my mom's it will itch and then you'll feel it peeling and i told my mom i said did your feet peel and she said yeah in the beginning this is the kind of product i like you will see action let me tell you how i use it i do i put it on my feet and i don't put it like all over every night because i honestly i think it would be too strong so I put it like all over my feet, maybe every, maybe once or twice a week, probably every third or fourth night. Then I put my Barefoot Dreams socks on. I do this right when I'm out of the shower too. And let me show you something else I use that helps. Hold on. Okay, how long have I raved about this product? Probably, I don't know, eight or 10 years. This, matter of fact, this is what I ordered first. When I first saw my heels, I was like, oh my gosh. So I ordered some off of Amazon. I think I got a two pack and I still use this. This is good. Even if you don't try the heel cream, this is awesome in the shower. It just, I think it makes your feet feel so much better, so much cleaner. I scrub like the tops of my feet, my toes, everything. And I love this. This is my favorite, is the Petty Scrubber. So what I do is I scrub my feet real good in the shower with my Petty Scrubber. Then I go sit on the side of my bed, open my drawer where I keep my cream, my foot cream, and I put it on my foot, and then I put my socks on, and I leave them on usually until I'm going to sleep. Like that last time I go to the bathroom and I know that it is not night time, I usually will take my socks off and put them together and throw them to the side of the bed to put them on in the morning because I just can't sleep with socks on. But by that time, everything has really soaked in. Then I put them back on in the morning. And you guys, you won't believe it. I mean, it is just unbelievable. It is the quickest results you can imagine and it's not very expensive and it's so worth it. So I was so excited. I thought about just telling you about it when I did my empties, but I feel that strongly about it. So my outfit of the day is inspired by Negan. I think it's Negan Marsili, 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 I think. 
and I came across this picture and I'll put it up on the screen now. And I remember this picture. I remember looking up those boots and they weren't available. I think they're YSL. And I ended up finding these, which are my favorite boots of all times, the Schutz, Mariana boots. I believe that's what they're called, Marianne or Mariana. These boots are, it is just incredible how comfortable these boots are to have the look that they do. I've got my Good American Blazer on that you guys saw in my, it's the Good American Blazer, it's like a trench. It's got the little thing, and then it's got the belt built into it. I've got on my Honey Love leggings, which are just the best. I don't wear any, I just gave my last pair of Zellas to Brooke. I just don't, I don't wear anything but the Honey Love leggings now. And then these are the boots. I hung my purse here to do the full look, and then I'll tell you about the jewelry. So here is the full look. And then I also have on, for underneath this, I just have on the Honey Love cami. It's not the bodysuit, it's the tank. It's, I wear it every day. Then in the picture, I saw she had on like some really cool earrings. So it was a great opportunity for these. They're definitely my favorite Miranda Fry piece ever. They are the coolest earrings. And I have on a necklace that my parents gave me and a Miranda Fry, I believe this is the Julia necklace. And then I have on my lip liner and my lipstick, but I have on something else too that I just got that I will show you on Friday. So I'll keep you in suspense. And then I do have on my watch and my Aaron Wolf Ring. So I hope that if your heels are cracked, whether they're a lot or just a little bit, I hope that you will give this a try. I have been so impressed, so impressed that I could not wait to tell you. Have a good day and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.